first of all i would uh, like to tell you that uh, at uh, for a long time tripura had been facing the problem of extremism terrorism the main slogan of the terrorist uh, uh, was this that they want independent tripura that means uh, they want to secede from the mainland uh, state of our country that is from india so they had their camps in bangladesh they were pampered and nurtured uh, none other than isi and also uh, this uh, uh, cia i should say they created lot of lot of trouble and particularly tried to create uh, ethnic divide so in those days actually what we tried our level best to uh, isolate them and maintain unity and tranquility between the tribals and non tribals we ideologically and politically try to debunk their slogans and at the same time they were cashing the issue of under development in the tribal areas that was a fact uh, the uh, tripura was a princely state 184 princes were there they ruled the state for 1300 years you can imagine and after that since independence long congress rule was there yes during those days there was no uh, proper program for overall development of the state and particularly in particular the tribal area was really neglected like anything no infrastructure was there so they are trying to encase this so the left hand government in uh, in the other part what i have said the first one undertaken the comprehensive development work to develop the infrastructure in the tribal areas to remove this misgivings and i should say some anger and some frustration and what we did the more than 65 to 70% of our money earmarked and allocated for planning development was spent for the development of infrastructure in the tribal compact areas thereby now this feeling is actually uh, uh, not existing in that way and we have debunked this particular slogan of the extremists and rather the common people and particularly from the tribal people they have been saying are what is this this government is doing something for us for the development of our areas why unnecessarily you are creating trouble for this government in that way from the masses from the tribal masses this actually slogan was raised this questions were uh, uh, raised third one you see that uh, to combat them uh, we asked the government of india to raise uh, babdar fencing uh, between india and bangladesh uh, territory on the zero line to prevent uh, uh, easy entry inside india by the indian extremists who are and still using the soil and land of bangladesh so that also uh, helped us to a, a, a good ex extent i should say but we uh, did not depend and still we are not depending on the security forces but we are not intervening in their activities we have given them the freedom to take necessary steps against this uh, to for combating this extremist onslaught but we have cautioned them that uh, you should not be trigger happy you should not undertake any such steps which can alienate you from the common masses and that will be a big boost big boon for the extremist they will get the support of the common people so that should not be done that cannot be done and at the same time we tried our level best to mobilize people against this 
extremist uh, uh, activities ideologically, politically, organizationally, administratively and what we found uh, the peace loving people of our state uh, uh, by and large even cutting across their political line and particularly the tribal people they came forward like anything and all these steps actually helped us to bring back peace and normalcy in our state. We have been trying our level best to strengthen our democratic uh, activities, democratic functioning, uh, their three tier uh, vibrant panchayat systems uh, is working. Every after five years elections are taking place, more than 85 percent people are taking part in the elections and among the electorates uh, our mothers and sisters they have been playing a very dominant role. So, this is one. And on the other hand, uh, uh, we have been taking care of their basic needs. Of course, uh, all powers are not in the hands of the state government to take care of all these things until and unless the government of India uh, takes uh, uh, the uh, 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 principal measures to address this problem. Despite all these limitations, we have been trying our level best to take care of these problems. And people have been observing and watching that this is the government which has feeling for the common people uh, uh, despite their limitations they have been trying their level best to take care of our problem though they have not yet been able to remove all this problem, but they are serious they have been trying their level best. Uh, by doing this uh, we have been able to draw the attention of the common people and uh, the sense uh, 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 of uh, uh, what should I say. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, the, the sense this idea that yes this is our government and this government should be prevented and uh, 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 its hands should be strengthened so that it can uh, organize struggle to uh, uh, fetch uh, our genuine demands from the unwilling hands of the government of India. So, this is there and on the other hand to maintain the secular fabric of our society. Uh, we are very, very careful and cautious uh, and uh, since democracy is being strengthened, uh, this is three tier panchayat systems, then also in the urban areas, local cell bodies, these are also working in a very proper manner and at the same time in the tribal compact areas, this uh, 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 tribal areas autonomous district council that is constituted under six schedule. So, all these uh, uh, institutions actually it is strengthening the democratic polity of our society and if it is strengthened the automatically it will have its uh, impact on the social fabric uh, 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 secular fabric of our society. It is actually uh, uh, complementing each other. By saying this BJP has actually virtually uh, agreed, accepted or rather I should say confessed that they are failing to garner support centering BJP or under the flag of banner of BJP. They have been trying their level best. RSS has been working in Tripura for last 30, 35 years. Banavasi, Kallanasram they have been working there. BJP of course, Earlier the name was not BJP, Bharatiya Jana Sangha. While I was a school going student, uh, at that point of time uh, actually I also came to know the name of this political party. At that point of time I had no connection with communist party. So, they have been working there. So, now uh, since uh, they have their government at the center and uh, all media both electronic and print they are helping them. Um, uh, uh, with whole hog I should say and the government working at the center uh, instead of delivering goods they have been trying to utilize their state power to garner support under BDP under the banner of uh, 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 BJP. So, uh, despite all these things when they have found uh, from the ground reality actually they are failing to garner support according to their desire. That is why he has uh, been forced to pass this government. This is nothing but sign of frustration and this is also a sign uh, that they have no trust 
and faith in democratic system which is being followed in our country uh, 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 for uh, uh, electing government either in the state or in the center. So, this is a very undemocratic uh, stand he has taken uh, and this is uh, actually this authoritarian trend which is being developed at the center. Uh, it is actually uh, uh, I should say uh, uh, found uh, scope of expression by the state president of BJP. So, actually he is uh, learning lessons from his leaders who are working uh, at the national level. So, this is the situation. So, people of Tripura I should say politically they are conscious, they are uh, democratically they are conscious. Uh, so, uh, they have started spending money, lot of money. Uh, so, despite all these things, uh, they are not in that position uh, uh, to take uh, uh, their vision uh, for implementation. And we are also trying our level best to make our people conscious about uh, the situation uh, at the national level and also the worst and activities of the BJP, RSS, Vishwandu Parishad and Banamasi Kallan Sumiti. So, thereby this is in one hand and on the other hand on uh, people's issue, people are on the street, people are on the street, they are not sitting idle. Our class and mass organizations are very, very active, party is very, very active. So, I think uh, people unitedly will face all sorts of uh, uh, conspiracy uh, and onslaught on democracy.